Okay, so welcome once again back to the Reset Channel. Uh, if you follow my main channel, you see that I <clears throat> mentioned that I was having camera issues. I just learned today that if I use the front-facing camera, it works. So I don't get the half zoom like I normally do, so you'll have to deal with maybe a few close-ups. But anyway, we're here, and we are doing a ton of work not a ton a good deal of work to this and it has to be done tonight because tomorrow i have to write it we're doing a big veterans thing uh so gotta have it done already started got the fairing off about to remove the headlight and got a few other things that we're doing and some removing and some putting on and some customizing and some modification because some of this is one-off stuff so anyway uh it is i guess i could show you guys a T27 Torx bit and I think this was a four millimeter yeah four millimeter hex key and that removes the four bolts that are located right here but you get to them from the front or the back towards the driver rider yeah I'm tired I've been on the road today is Friday afternoon evening it's like or something almost five I just got home I left Sunday afternoon I've been running like crazy all week I'm tired I'm exhausted please bear with me anyway I'm gonna get back at it I'll catch up with you guys in a bit okay so we got the headlight off and ooh, that is not supposed to fall over like that awesome got the new bracket installed so this is a two half inch hex heads and then you get this bracket that extends the headlight out that comes with it uh these are 13s all four corners you crack the riser bolts loose which i believe were three quarter inch and then they've got these little tongued forked things slides into bolts and the bolts for the original headlight bracket go there. You reuse the original bracket with this addition to shoot it out because the new fairing requires the light to be further out. Now, I also got that installed, which is a far more complicated process than it should be. So let me show you. Starting from the outside, you've got this little plug thing that goes through this rubber grommet that then has this washer that then goes to this washer, to this washer, to this bolt, and all of that comes through this bracket. You repeat that process for both of these holes, and then it goes on like you saw. So I'm gonna get this one put together and put on and I'll be back in there. Okay, so I had some parts, or not some parts, some video clips get corrupted and I didn't record everything that I had wanted to, but it's installed. <laughs> so it's trying to go over what we missed so after the four sets of 13 inch bolts which are here God, this this thing is falling apart so there's one here and there's another one down there And those allow you to adjust the up and down and the in and out of the whole fairing. Well, this part. And then you've got these two right here that bolt in here. <clears throat> and those allow you to adjust the pitch of the windshield itself. And then you've got your four mounting bolts for that. I've taken this out, ridden it a couple times, tested it. It's awesome. Super, super happy. Uh, a little more expensive than some of the other ones, but you get what you pay for, and I'm extremely thrilled with this. This is Banks Performance, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Now, I also got these installed, 
which clearly have nothing in them at this point, which is what we're doing right now because those parts came while I was back out on the road. So I filmed the earlier part of this last weekend and then I took off Monday. Today is now Friday afternoon. I just got home and I'm going to get this finished because we have another ride with the club in the morning. So I get that done. So I guess we're going to get to it. It's super simple. Pull the seat, which is just a Phillips head screw back here. The seat comes off. There's these two here and there's another one just like it right underneath there. This whole cover comes off and then, uh, well, once I get to that part, I'll turn the camera back on it. Okay. This has been difficult. So, we got the gauges up there. <clears throat> so, you've got two uh, sockets, or not sockets, hex heads, that are a... Well, that doesn't have its size printed on it. Uh, it's four and a half, I think it was. And then you've got a littler one, the one down here, that's a four. Then you've got four little itty bitty. I mean, these are tiny. And they're one, two, three, four. Realistically, I don't need this piece anymore because that's threaded. It does nothing with this. So that's just kind of a, a scrap piece. <clears throat> then this kit comes with these two backing plates and you have to get the rear gaskets. Uh, they don't come with it. You have to order them separately. So bam, bam. And then you have to get a new Gorilla cable. Well, I, I use the brand Gorilla. I'm sure other people probably make it. This is the factory one. It's too short. Something to remember, black is speedometer, gray is tachometer. And then you just take that and you route it down with all your other wires. And then this little rubber grommet gets seated back into the frame and then that part will be done. Now it's just a matter of reassembly. And I got a little, little nice little touch for the top of the, the thing. So I'm gonna get this put back together and uh, we'll be good. Oh. The, <coughs> this uses the, the same factory hardware that you pulled out those four little EDB tiny ones. Uses the same hardware. So that's nice, right? Right. I got to kind of massage these in, get the gaskets, the seat real good, retighten them, tighten massage, tighten massage. You know how it goes. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get this last piece put on, give it a good wipe down underneath and get it all put back together. And we're one step closer to this thing being done. Realistically, uh, this will be how I take it to Oregon in two weeks. I can't believe that's, that's already here. We're two weeks away from that. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to get this put back together. I'll be back in a minute. All bit. right. So, got that buttoned up. Gauges are all in. And we got this little touch here. Just, you know, something I thought was kind of fun. I'm not sure if you even could see that since I can't see the lens anymore. So that covers where the gauges used to be, so it doesn't look bad. And I thought it was a nice little custom touch. Uh, I've got one more part to swap out on here. And you'll see that in a second. And it's for ergonomics. I guess that would be the right word. I had an issue, or I still have an issue with the factory. I mean, you can see right there. Uh, you guys have seen I ride with rings on. Um, we're having issues with it colliding, which is making kind of dangerous because that's the front brake. It's kind of important. So we have a solution for that. We get that taken care of. And then this thing's done. She's ready for, I mean, not done. We're far from done, but ready for Oregon. So let's, uh, let's get this last bit done and I get to relax. I'm tired. I start, I got up at midnight. It's, I think it's almost three now. Two, three, I don't know. Drove from one o'clock until I got here at, I got home at like 11.30. And I've been working on this. I'm tired. I want to relax. I want pajamas. I want a cold beer. 
All right, let's get back to this. I'll be back in a bit. So before I got started this, I wanted to show you. That's the difference between the OEM and the, the ones that I ordered. See how that's, that elbow right there is where I was hitting. I hope you guys can see that. You can't. Right there. That bend is where I was hitting. See, I was kind of scuffed up. Look how much further forward this sits. This is going to solve my problem really well. I'll be right back. Okay. Got the first one on. Now, very important note on the brake lever. When you go to put it back together, this arm right here has to be pushed in. You have to like just kind of hold it like you're kind of pulling the brake because there's a little rubber plastic plunger right inside there. It activates your brake light. And if you don't have that away from the plunger when you slide it in, it breaks the plunger. Ask me how I know. Anyway, got that done. This one's all put back together. And I can tell you right now, there is a huge difference in the amount of room in there. I am so much happier. And I now have one finger operation because of the way this lever is designed. And that makes me very happy. Let's go ahead and get the other one knocked out. Real simple process. You undo the 13 millimeter nut that holds your mirror on. Take everything apart. Be careful not to drop your mirror. There's a little, uh, what do they call those? The, it's like a washer, but it's not. You have to use this tool for it. It goes in, and then it spreads the keeper ring thing. I, I'm having a moment. Anyway, you'll see it. It's, all, it's on the other end of this bushing rod thing here. I'm, you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, take that thing off, knock the pin out, put the new one in, put the pin back in, put it all back together. Easy, easy day. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the clutch. The only difference is we have to deal with the clutch cable this time, which won't be too hard, but it's still something I got to deal with. I'll be back. All right. Bad news, bad news. Got it all done. Levers are installed. Everything's functional. Everything's good. But my clutch won't disengage. And I checked the adjustment here at the yellow thing. It's perfect. I checked the adjustment inside the diaphragm. It's moving like it's supposed to. So something's broke, but not broke. Because the diaphragm's moving, which tells me it's opening up the clutch like it's supposed to but it's not letting go so i've got an appointment for tomorrow they're gonna come pick the bike up because it's brand new and uh let's see if we can't get this fixed yeah all right it's great because we've only got you know 14 days to ride to oregon Great. All right. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'll keep you all updated. And well, see you in the next one. <laughs> all right. So I decided to try one more thing. Uh, just kidding. The video's not over, by the way. I wheeled it out into the driveway. You know, because I've got a nice gravel driveway. And I grabbed the front brake as hard as I could. And I stuffed it into first gear. And... It spun the tire for a second, and then it was fine. Like, it was fine. So something was just hung up. I don't know. I mean, the last time I rode it, before I parked it, I rode it pretty hard. So it may have just kind of got, you know, a little bit jammied. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Went around the block, and here in the, in the garage, hold the clutch. It's perfectly fine. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, now the video's over. Appreciate y'all hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I got a couple tools I gotta put back in the Suburban because I'm trying to keep that toolkit complete. I really need to go through and organize this toolkit. I just, you know, I've got so much free time. I need to clean the garage again. But once again, I've got so much free time because I'm, 
you know, constantly working on the Suburban or working on the Viper truck or working on the Harley or working on the street walker or just working. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. It works. That's great. It means I can go ride tomorrow, which is even more gooder. We'll go with that. Anyway, appreciate y'all hanging out. Again, I hope you enjoyed the content. We got the new Banks Performance fairing on. We got the Lucky Speed Shop Shorty Trigger levers on. We got the Memphis Shades Knuckle Guards on. We got the, I have no idea what company it is, but the fancy little gauge relocator. We got the FXR Division gauge relocation kit. She's coming along. Got two more cosmetic modifications. Uh, uh, maybe a couple more than that. But she's coming along. And I've got the ex you know, most of the... I have one more expensive piece. The rest of it's fairly cheap. So she's coming along nicely. And that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.